you so much for coming in today. I'm so excited to paint you. I just thought of you and I was like, you're the perfect face model. Yeah. Um, thank you again for coming in. So as you know, today I will be painting you. This is here. And I sort of already have an idea of the style that I want to paint you in. Um, I was thinking to do a more abstract sort of painting. I hope that's okay with you. Um, so that means that we'll be using some interesting colors and techniques. I'm going to sort of roughly um, follow your features and it might sort of be more abstract. More color, more interpretation sort of thing. Okay. I basically have everything prepared, but I want to show you what my idea sort of is. So, I'm thinking to incorporate some red here. Blues. They look really, really good together. And then to sort of mix it up, I was thinking we do a sort of violet as well. So as you can see, all three colors that we're going to be using are on the same portion of our color wheel. We got the reds transitioning into the purples and then those trans transition into the blues. So my idea is to sort of create this seamless transition of color and they can sort of melt into each other and it'll look super good. Okay, awesome. I thought it was a super interesting idea. I just wanted to double check that it would be okay with you. Okay, so without further ado, we can start pouring out my paint and we can get going. Before we get started, I would actually like to do a rough sketch of your face, though. Just to sort of act as a outline, okay? So just get comfortable and we can get started, okay? Okay, are you comfortable?
Almost done with the outline here. Just finishing up a few little details that are super important. There's certain things that if you forget to draw them, it might throw the whole picture off altogether and you won't get an accurate representation of what you wanted to convey. So it's super important to be on the lookout for those things and to um, just jot them down on an outline. Especially if you're drawing somebody else, yeah. I don't know if the same can be said for other artists, but certainly for me, I forget. <laughs> okay. It's looking really good. I think that's about it for the outline. Good to get painting now. Okay. These are the brushes that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to pour the paint out onto this old bag of coconut. can start with this beautiful Copenhagen blue. Starting with the outline. I 
think we're just about done with the blue. I just want to add a little bit more right over here. So, so good. I'm really not any sort of professional artist by any means, but there's something so relaxing about painting. Even if you're no good at it, I feel like it's such a relaxing art form. I find myself wanting to paint when I'm stressed or anxious or just when I need a little break and honestly it has been one of the best best sort of therapeutic art forms that I've tried so, although your photo probably won't be hanging in on me in any sort of uh, museum, I really do appreciate you coming and letting me uh, practice uh, painting because it's, it's really important to me and hopefully it's relaxing to you. I'm going to move on. Let's do the lavender. I have to shake it up a little. Okay. It actually looks super cute with my nails. <laughs> Just thinking which feature I want to put the lavender on. I really, really like this shade of purple. This is really turning out to be a really interesting piece. I'm really, really happy I decided 
to do the different colors. I think it captures your face in such a unique way. Definitely. I'm definitely trying to make it look realistic, like if somebody were to look at it, I would want them to know that it's you, but I also want it to have this sort of aspect where it allows people to look at you from maybe a different perspective. With the colors and everything, I'm hoping that it can capture some emotion, some feeling, invoke something in the viewer. There really is no correct way to produce art. And those who try to impose rules on art, I think, are missing uh, the point. It's not meant to be any type of way. say though that when you're looking at somebody's art and you know that they've been or they took ages maybe years and years to make it you have to you might feel some sort of awe towards it you know if you just think about it like somebody sitting there and just painting for hours on end no end in sight and then the finished product at least what we see in the museums and stuff is something that sort of leaves you speechless I could definitely probably sit there for the same amount of time and my product wouldn't be anywhere near anywhere as intricate or magnificent as theirs is Your features are so beautiful to paint. Your eyes have a lot of depth and expression in them that I don't think I can properly capture, but nevertheless, it's very uh, entertaining 
for me to at least try, so. the red to sort of outline uh, the purple. I think that the red could really give it some, the purple, some really nice depth. So let's just get some on to into our canvas here. Give it a little shape. the red. And I'm just going to trace some features that look a little bit dull and like they need a little bit of depth added to them. Like around the eye. know what? I can easily use this within the hair as well to sort of make the hair texture more clear. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit into your hair here. Perfect. This is fantastic. It's really giving the desired effect here. This is perfect, actually. struggle with the most is uh, capturing accurate hair texture. It always just looks a little bit bleh and dull and not a lot of movement, which is something that I would love to improve on. Slowly but surely. Just have a little bit more red to add. Right here. Right there. Right there. Right 
here and right here. I think we're good on the red. Okay. Now we have our teal. I'm so excited use this teal right now. So far we have a dark blue, the lavender, the red, the mixed red with the lavender which made it a sort of pink and now we're going to be adding this teal on top. So it's just going to really make all of the red and the lavender pop and the pink. So let's just brush a little and try it off. Okay. Let's grab a little bit of this eleven um this teal. And I actually would like to see again what it looks like when mixed with the We got an orange. Yeah. A very dark orangey brown color. I'm not sure if that's what we want for this one, but interesting. Okay, let's just take the teal and do some of the final touches. makes it look like all of these colors are neon because there's such a stark contrast that is interesting okay Out of it to the hair, of course.
I think this was the finishing touch that we really needed. looks so good. I'm really looking at the painting and looking at you and there is a lot of similarities, <laughs> which is good. And trust me, there's been times before where my painting looks nothing like the person I painted <laughs> or the person that I'm using for reference. which sometimes puts a damper on me, but that's okay. I'm just adding just a few little touches and we're almost done. I think I captured your hair texture pretty well. Looks like I have added just about everything. I think if I were to add any more, uh, that I would just ruin it. So, I'm gonna put this down. I think it looks fantastic. I'm going to wait until it dries and then put a glossy finish over it and then you can come and pick it up, okay? Yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Um, thank you for letting me practice today. You were so wonderful to chat with and the perfect uh, person to paint. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, come again anytime. You're welcome to come. I can paint you again. Yeah. Okay. Bye.